What's up? Jimmy, there's just a couple of things from talking to Howard that maybe we ought to go through. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's get it over with, you know, rip the Band-Aid off, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a release. It says basically that you won't contest the will. If I sign it, I get my share. That's about the size of it. So, uh, <clears throat> how much do I get? 5,000. 5K. Yeah. I can pay off my MasterCard. What else you got? Um, this is... It's from Chuck. Nobody knows for sure what's in it. You don't have to open it right now, but... Let's see what the old boy has to say. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a minute alone. No, no, stay. It's fine. I mean, uh, you want to hear this, right? Yeah, if it's okay. <sighs> it's undated. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> Dear Jimmy, I have left many things unsaid in our relationship through the years. Rather than all allow, allow these unspoken thoughts to die with me, I've chosen to record them here for you. I hope you will take my words in the spirit in which they are intended. New paragraph. I remember quite clearly the day you came home from the hospital. You can't imagine the joy on mom's face. I can honestly say I never saw her happier than she was on that day. You brought a shine to her life that nothing else ever did, and I'm glad of that. New paragraph. We have not always seen eye to eye. I expect that will continue to be so in the future. However, nothing will ever change the fact that we are brothers, flesh and blood. And though we are very different people, I want you to know how much I respect what you have made of yourself in these last few years. You have taken the opportunity I gave you in the mailroom and you have run with it, becoming a valued member of the HHM family for all the problems in your past. I'm proud we share the name McGill. I sincerely admire your energy and resilience. I used to worry about you finding a place in the world, but I'm not worried about that anymore. I'm certain now that no matter what the future may bring, you'll land on your feet, and I hope when you read this, you remember me not only as your brother, but as a person you knew was always in your corner. He signed it, just Chuck. Well, say what you want. A man could write a letter. Sorry. Hey. No, I, did, I didn't mean to make it. No, a it's okay, it's okay, it's a nice letter. Hey. Don't just... Kim, 